back to the next video so today we'll be learning how to use keychain to store sensitive data inside your react native app with react native's new architecture using turbo modules for ios so first we will go through the documentation so i have created a default react native app inside the documentation to enable uh, the new architecture you have to first cd into your ios directory and run this command after running this command you might be facing two issues the first issue is this so to resolve this cd back to your uh, root directory of your project and run this then again cd to your ios directory and try to run this command back again if you are still facing another issue saying something like this you can check this stack overflow post by uh, the to resolve this one way is to run this command inside your project root directory or ios directory you can check out the other answers as well as well as i have a detailed video on my channel regarding this so you want if if you want you can check that out, check that out as well uh, next once this command has been successfully ran what you have to do is you have to run yarn ios and in the metro bundler you should see fabric colon true this means uh, that the new architecture has been enabled for your ios app next we would go to the turbo native modules here it says that create the rtn calculator outside your app but this according to me is not correct you should create it inside the app so i have created this folder rtn my keychain so name it whatever you want but make sure this name is consistent and uh, for us it is inside the project and not outside next create android ios and js folder so i have created android ios and js folder forget about the generated folder forget about package.json and the rtn my keychain pod spec file next inside the js folder we have to create something called native calculator.ts and we would have to write this interface so inside the js folder i have created native my keychain again pay attention to the name and here what i have done is that this should be changed rtn my keychain and here i have added to save password get password and delete password so uh, in this case i am trying to store password inside my keychain okay but if you want you can store more data as well next go to okay we have to create the package.json file this package.json file should not be present inside your js folder so just create a package.json file which is sibling to your js folder and copy paste everything from this so i have created package.json and the changes which you have to make is this name should change according to your folder name this should change over here and this thing should change rt and my keychain spec and the package name should change if you want you can change it over here as well but this is just like a url to your github that's why i have not changed but if you want you can do it once package.json is done we have to create this pod spec file so create rtn calculator dot pod spec but in my case it would be rtn my keychain dot pod spec and here everything has been copied from the documentation only thing which has been changed is rtn my keychain next go okay we are ignoring android for now so here you have to go to your project directory root directory of your project so here my app name is rn app so here and here we will run this command yarn add dot slash in the documentation they have specified double dot slash because the rtn calculator is outside the react native app but in our case it is inside that's why we only want a, only want a single dot so yarn add dot rtn my keychain once that is successfully done you have to cd out from your uh, react native project so something like cd dot dot so i'm in my desktop and then you have to run this command again this command is slightly different from what they have mentioned over here the changes are this should be your app name project name or whatever folder name of your react native project 
so my is rnf so rnf then this should be rnf and here the output part should be rnf slash rnt my keychain okay next this will generate the generated folder so here you can see the generated folder has been created now what you have to do is so we will be using swift along with objective c plus plus for this so we really don't require this ios folder what you have to do is that you have to open your this main ios folder in xcode and then you have to create first rn you have to create this file first rtn my keychain dot h you can just copy paste this code like this is same as the documentation only thing changes rtn my keychain rtn my keychain spec this naming has been changed okay next you have to create an objective c plus plus file so by default objective c plus plus is not present in xcode so you would create an objective c file once that file is created you have to append dot mm as the extension if you don't do this you will face a lot of issues in this code okay so the name is rtn my kitchen dot mm i have uh, implement so sorry sorry before that so just create this file and what you have to do is that because we are not writing this inside the ios folder of rtn my kitchen we are writing it directly inside the main ios folder you have to run this command first so i will tell you what command that is so you have to run this command first cd ios rtn uh, new arc enabled bundle x pod install the reason is that whatever code has code has been generated we want that to be accessible from uh, the main ios folder as well that's why we are running it beforehand so run that command from your ios directory once that has been successfully done come back to this rtn my kitchen dot mm file copy paste like this I have i have copy pasted everything from here okay next just write these two lines next what you have to create is you have to create a swift file so as soon as you create a swift file xcode will ask you do you want to create a bridging header as well okay so create this swift file my keychain xcode will ask you do you want a bridging header as well click on yes and it will automatically generate this file so rn app dash bridging dash header dot h now come to my keychain dot swift so so I, you have to write this thing at the rate objective c members because we want to access the swift class from objective c plus plus file then i am just extending ns object now this code is uh, so i will tell you uh, so you can follow a channel called ios academy on youtube he has a very detailed explanation on what uh, keychain in ios are but i will quickly go through it like i have copy pasted most of his code from his from his video so whenever you want to save a password so we are taking the password okay we would require password and we are sending back a string okay so this method will be called from objective c plus plus so basically we are calling the save method which requires a service so i have given it a name as your service it can be anything you can write anything over here basically it should be your related to your app the account name can be anything it should be related to your app so the save method takes a service it takes an account it takes a password so i have provided this all details if this is successful then i am returning success else i am returning an error same for get password i am calling a get data method it requires a service and it requires an account next i am decoding that password uh, and converting it to a string and sending it back to object to c++ once this method is called in delete password i am getting all this uh, stuff like this is from apple's documentation so you can read that to know more about it and we are basically de deleting everything from our keychain and returning success okay now uh, to check so i have created an enum keychain error so whether to check whether there is a duplicate entry or an unknown status so here you can see the save method so again i won't go much into these details but this is kind of like a boilerplate code which you have to write whenever you want to save anything inside your keychain same for get data as well now once 
you are done with this you have to go to your keychain.mm file objective c++ file we have already written this two thing next here you have to import this should be your app name dash swift.h so basically whatever bridging header you have so rn app dash swift.h then you have to write this thing and this thing again from the documentation i have copied the naming should be appropriate then here we are creating an object of our swift file so i am referencing my keychain i am allocating it so this is how you create it in object to c++ then uh, this method we have already this is kind of like an overridden method which was auto generated by code gen because we have already defined the save method inside your typescript interface right and here basically what we are doing is that we are getting the uh, whatever user have whatever uh, value the user has sent for password from the react native side converting it to an n string and calling the uh, sorry uh, not converting it to an string it is already in an string we are calling the save password with password method from uh, that swift file and passing the uh, argument of password and we would get a string from callback from string return type from that swift file so if it is success then i am say, sending a dictionary of success if it is a failure i am sending a failure message same for get password as well i am calling the get password from the swift file and and the return type is a string and i am checking whether it is failed to read password or not if yes then reject else i am just sending the password back in an ns dictionary same for delete as well i am calling the delete password and i get a success return type if it is success then send the ns dictionary success callback to react native side if failure then send that failure and this is kind of like a uh, you know uh, boilerplate code again which you can find in the documentation only thing you have to change this according to whatever your name is now once this is done you can just uh, cd to your app and again run this command but in our case it would be something like this yarn add dot slash rtn my keychain now to use this first import rtn my keychain from this okay you can find this folder inside your node modules next i have created three buttons save password get password and delete password so and which are calling save get and delete password method so inside save method i am just calling rtn my keychain dot save password and i am storing the password and i am printing the data of whether it was success or not for get password again same thing calling the get password method and uh, you will get the appropriate password if you have saved it and delete password it deletes the password if you delete a password and then try to get it you would get an exception so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye